this is a heavy subject for me. This is something that I just recently have told even my parents. Hold on, let me drink my coffee. That's okay. I might go get more. Need more caffeine. There's more in there. Good morning, beautiful people. A little bit different today, uh, not quite a vlog style, but before we hop into what we're doing or showing you, we just wanted to do a quick introduction for those who are new here. We have a lot of new people. A lot people. of new people. Welcome, welcome. This is our home on the internet. We are Meg and Ben. We are the Holler Homestead. And real quick story, if you haven't gone back and watched previous videos, mm -hmm. we have a very long, long, story that kind of got us to where we are now on our homestead. We started in suburban California mm -hmm. with a little homestead, little little beds, little... We were... The whole lot was 8,000 square feet. Yes. Like, tiny. Like yes. Like, cookie cutter tracked home. Right. And a couple chickens. And work was really, really insane and kind of sucking the life out of you. I used to work all the hours. Yeah. People ask me, what's your schedule like? Well, I work. Like, that's what I do. <laughs> That's what you do. He works. He works, and then he sort of slept, and then he works some more. And it was really, really rough, and it was taking a toll on our marriage, along with some other things. For years. For, for years. For years and it years. Was, it was a solid, I'd say, 10 years of never being home, yep. watching everything I was working for disappearing. Yeah. We have a video kind of talking about that. Right. Um, we could probably leave a link. It was our big video. Yeah. It, it pretty much summed up our whole year and everything. Right. Um, we'll leave a link for that. But yeah, it was it was a brutal ten years, and yes. but here we are. We yes. we have survived. We have changed our lives. We right. have found our homestead. Yeah. yeah, we're in a better place. Yes. So one of those big changes was we decided to leave California. We sold pretty much everything we owned, like just about everything. Just about everything. Furniture, all that. Packed us and our kids, our four boys, into a 27 foot travel trailer and traveled the US for a year, healing our marriage yep. and also looking for our homestead. It was a very spiritual journey. It was a very spiritual journey for sure. We landed in North Carolina and now here we are growing, building our homestead, trying to get this monster of a mobile home taken care of. <laughs> so we have something to live in. Still currently in the 27 foot mobile home, or uh, travel trailer. trailer. Loving it. It's amazing. So, Today, we uh, are sharing the talk that we gave at Baker Creek this past week for those of you who were not there and wanted to see it mm -hmm. or who were there and wanted to see it again. We had some friends film it, so thank you to Jeff at Redhead Ranch. Mm -hmm. We wanted to share this with you because it is more of our story. It really dives into it. and For me, it's a very, very personal, but also this is how I got here. Yeah. This is like, this is part of me. This is... Yes part of the struggle, part of the road, right. and... And part of why we grow food for health. Yep. And we were able to do it with our friends, Jason and Lorraine from Sow the Land, and I can't think of anyone better to be on stage with sharing this story. They also have a really huge, life-changing, this is why they homestead story. Mm -hmm. um, they go over that first, and I hope you guys will really pay attention to that and go over to their channel and subscribe to them. They are truly amazing they are yep. walking that talk for sure yes, they, they, are. they are like living it and they have made such a huge change and just living life and it's amazing yeah. so both of our stories combined into one talk it's about yeah. what 20 minutes long about 20 minutes long so here you go okay so this is uh we're going to talk they put us together here today to talk about growing food for health yes. um a couple Cal california families who left to north carolina now we're back again talking about <laughs> uh, our journey. Introduce yourself. My name is Jason. <laughs> I'm Lorraine. And uh, we have the Sow the Land YouTube channel. And, <laughs> and, uh, and um, you know, our journey, you know, how we ended up here, I mean, growing food for health, uh, really started for us about um, 10 years ago. Where we're from, just outside the Los Angeles area, and uh, I was diagnosed with cancer. And I had Hodgkin's lymphoma, I did six months of chemo, um, that, that was it. You know, they, they told me that was the good, the good kind of cancer. <laughs> uh, you know, I just had just, just turned about 30 years old, and you get cancer. And that just like totally opened up our, our minds and totally a different way of thinking. And that really, started us 
on this path of wanting to know what's in our food, how to grow it, um, and that's when we started to look at nutrition as trying to help us and uh, just figure out like how can we be more healthier, how can we take it upon ourselves just to live a healthy lifestyle. And I remember like the last oncologist appointment that I had where she said, you know, you're cancer free. You know, you're in remission, no more cancer, no more chemo. And I remember the first thing I said to her was, you know, okay, what now? <laughs> uh, is there some kind of protocol? Is there some kind of nutrition plan I should follow? Is there, you know, need to be taking pills now? I mean, I, I don't know. I, you know, I figured there was something. And she just like, I, I felt like no one had asked her that before. It was like she was a, a, a surprised look in her face. And she just said, well, just go back doing what you are normally doing. And, well, working very well, <laughs> so, you know, that just put a light bulb in our minds, and, and we thought that, that just didn't make sense to us. You know, that, that's a roller coaster of emotions that entire six months. Um, and so we decided to, well, I'm not sure what else we could do, except maybe we need to look at our nutrition. You know, we grew up with a standard American diet. started just to figure it out, try to cut out bad stuff in our diet, you know, and that uh, started our journey. Of, uh, then we started thinking about, why, why don't we start growing our own food? Um, we had, you know, a decent backyard, um, and so I just started making raised beds, and, you know, we didn't grow up around food, growing food or gardening, didn't know anyone who had a, even a tomato plant, it just <laughs> never was nothing. And so it was just very foreign to us, and we've always talked about it. Uh, hey, it would be cool if we could grow our own food. And so we just kind of just started, and started, you know, bought some plant stars, started growing our own food, and really fell in love with it. And we would just, like, and we started joking around, like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could, like, have some wormwood, and raise a bunch of chickens, and, and maybe grow our food, maybe raise our own meat, and, and just grow all of our food, and it was just like a big joke, you know, like, oh, that would never happen, you know, our family was in that area, so we would never leave, we would never leave, so we just kept on talking about it and talking about it, and uh, the more we talked about it, the more we kept on taking steps to that journey <laughs> of, next thing you know, we were selling a lot of our stuff, and we kept on joking about it. And we're like, well, if we're going to be farmers one day, we're not going to need, you know, these couches in our house, you know, or I'm not going to need this collection of posters that I collected. <laughs> and so we started getting rid of stuff, rid of stuff. The next thing you know, we we're going to get rid of our kitchen table. And uh, that's when it became serious, is that we're going to, we're going to do this. Uh, so we got rid of our kitchen table and we had nothing in our house. And so the next step was, Let's sell our house <laughs> because we had nothing else left, and so uh, so we decided to sell our house and pursue this journey of finding land, starting a, a small homestead, small farm, growing more of our food, and that's what we did. We sold our house, and you know, I moved, thank, thank goodness for mom. We moved in with mom for about a year. And, uh, you know, just to continue to saving, try to get out of debt, looking for land. And that led us to the Asheville, North Carolina area. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really passionate at that point of trying to, uh, wanting to grow more of our food. And uh, we found, like, uh, we took a workshop at Primal Pastures in Southern California and um, of raising meat birds like on pasture. And I really enjoyed that, I really enjoyed that workshop and something that I would never think I, I would be able to do, like actual butchering chicken. <laughs> that was just so foreign. But like I thought, like, man, these guys are doing it. I'm like, we could do this. We could do that for ourselves, at least. And so that started us on that journey of looking for land so we could possibly raise chickens for ourselves and have a big garden and um, doing it all in a healthy way. And, you know, we found our land and now, uh, you know, we're three years in of 
Uh, you know, I ended up quitting my job. You know, we basically sold most of our stuff and just moved out there. And that just started us on this journey of wanting to really know what's in our food, uh, be more connected to our food. And, you know, it was a, definitely a huge leap of faith for us to quit the job and, and, and do that without really knowing anybody or not, and not having no family. And this was just all for the love of food and trying to be healthy for ourselves uh, in that way. Um, and then, you know, I mean, this whole journey with me, you started like wanting to cook healthy foods. Yeah, as, um, as the wife of a cancer survivor and somebody who had cancer and going through chemo, I was, I was working in the fashion industry at the time. Uh, and I had my career and commuting to the LA, Los Angeles area, you know, how those freeways are. <laughs> so, I didn't have time to cook, and we didn't. Like, we didn't know this was like this was years ago. We didn't know what, how to eat healthy, and so when he had cancer, uh, I thought, you know, we should really start eating healthy. We should eat a salad. So we went out, and I bought an, a head of iceberg lettuce. I chopped it up. I put croutons on it, and I put ranch dressing all over it. I was like, okay, we gotta eat greens. <laughs> so, I mean, we didn't know we'd come so far from there. We, we, um, we knew that wasn't really working. We didn't feel good, you know, even after eating that. And so we started researching more and more and reading books and just diving into it. And the more that we read and the more videos we watched and the more speakers that we listened to, we fell in love with this real food movement and we believed it. And we whole I mean, you, you've got to believe it if you're willing to quit your job, move thousands of miles away, and sell all your belongings. And we believed it. We were sold. And it was um, the best thing that we've ever done. And so it's been a progress. So the wife of a cancer survivor, it's been a progress of like learning to go from a head of iceberg lettuce to like. Gorgonzola salad, you know, just like it's been a process. Um, processing our own papers and we know exactly how they lived, how they grew, what they ate, and the seeds that were planting in the ground, where they came from, are they organic, and how they grew, what's in our soil, and enriching soil. That's just the whole journey that we've just gone through together within the last three years. And we share all of that on our YouTube channel, and, and we're so happy to share with all of you guys. The name of our YouTube channel is So the Land. We came up with that name because we were like, let's try to think of something like the land needs to re be repaired, as well as, you know, the standard American diet, but like So the Land, repair the land, and also, I can sew. Yeah, ourselves, yeah. Also, I can sew. I sew. Everybody was fine, we had no health issues, 
everybody has been fantastic. But that was that moment where I went, what we're eating is not working. And again, standard American diet, you know, and like lots of processed food, lots of bread, that kind of thing. And we got home, and I, like almost overnight, I went into the pantry and I was like getting rid of all the soy and getting rid of all the junk food. We found the Weston A. Price Foundation, which um, really goes into deep tribal nutrition. And you kind of, you know how you go down the rabbit hole. Let's see if I'm one day, let's see if I'm the next day, let's see if I'm the next thing. And we really started changing our diet slowly, and it had to be over time. But it was really me for the beginning. Um, like, Ben was kind of on board, but he's like not about the chickens and not really about the garden. Like, he's really cool. He'll build me all the beds, but you go do it. It's your own thing. And then we had a moment when life got really crazy and hectic. And a lot of you know who watched our channel for a while that we, we did our trip to save our marriage. So there's a lot more in that, but all together kind of goes into food <laughs> in a roundabout way. Okay, all right. <laughs> so this is a heavy subject for me. This is something that I just recently have told even my parents. Um, the food journey started for Maggie 12 years ago. I only got on board maybe three years ago. Like, wholeheartedly on board. So, I am a machinist by trade. I work in a very violent, very stressful work environment. And very early on, about 12 years ago, when I got into it, I started coming home self-medicating. It went from one or two beers a night to, over the years, four or five, six or seven, until I got up to the point where I was a functioning alcoholic, and I have been for years. And it's a painful thing to talk about, but it's my story. It's what led me to this point. So, back in 2015 was pretty much the peak of my alcoholism. I got to the point where I got sick. I was jaundice, I was yellow, I was starting to kill myself, basically. And it got to the point where I was so sick I couldn't drink. And that was when I was like, okay, my body is not letting me do this. She had done a diet called the Whole 30, and I refused to do it with her. Sure. You have to stop drinking. Yeah, you have to stop drinking. <coughs> So she had done it, and I had eaten food, and it was like, you know what, this isn't that bad. And she was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it again. Would you do it with me? Yeah, I think I will. I, I don't feel good. I did this diet, and I detoxed, and I felt better than I felt in 12 years later. Yeah. I started sleeping, I started Bodily functions came back that I didn't realize I was missing. <laughs> and it was amazing. And during that time, I realized what I'd been missing. I didn't know my kids. I was losing my relationship with my wife. I had let this grow into a monster. So, in the few months of sobriety that kind of started coming after that, we hatched this crazy plan to pursue nutrition, pursue healthy eating. I finally got on board. So we decided to sell everything, travel across the country until we- Apparently it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't travel. <laughs> so it, it was a rough year, it really was. Um, I had never really quit drinking. I would have a beer here and there. I enjoy craft beer, like, I really do. But finding that it's something I can't have in my life, since we've been at this property, I have quit drinking. And I'll be Two months. 
That's wow. insane. I am smaller than I've ever been. Like, I've been 160 pounds, like all through high school, and then yeah, you know up. Together. And I'm down to 145 pounds. Like, this is smaller than I've ever been. But I feel better than I've ever been. And really, the position we're in now, we did this so we can grow our own food. We did this so we can pursue nutrition for us control what we put in our bodies. And to be in this position now, it's amazing. So that's kind of, that's that's my side of it. That's my my story. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's hard, to, hard to share, but here we are. There you go. It's kind of intense, but it is. It's a heavy subject, but, but it's a big change. And we are so thankful to be here today to be able to do what we're doing. Yeah. We're thankful for our, our homestead. Thankful for the changes. For amazing, amazing things. Yeah. Um, so growing food has been such a big deal to us because honestly, there's been healing in the garden for you. Yeah. Big, big time. Healing. Thing for me that really started. When I was going through throes of depression, right in the peak of my my drinking, yeah. um, I started building compost. I started yeah. working in the dirt and just experimenting because yeah. you know we already had the bug to homestead, right. but I was in the middle of dealing with all that. And doing compost really was something that started my healing. Yeah. It was the only place I felt peace. It was the only place I felt like I was away from it all was when I had my feet in the dirt, my hands in the dirt. Yep. And I think all of that is kind of what helped me to move in that direction. Yeah. And then hang out with the chickens. Yeah. Hang out <laughs> with chickens. Because chickens fix everything. So part of why we wanted so much land was to really just focus on growing as much of our own food as possible. Not just because having the food itself is great. I mean, it is. 
and I mean, you know, it lowers your grocery budget and all this kind of stuff, but it was the, we have all the space to heal and, yep. and get away from, from the, the world. This, <laughs> this is a mu this is as much about healing as it is growing our own food. Right. So heal our bodies, minds, and souls. Before we found this place, when we had the conversation of, you know what, we technically only need an acre to grow our own food. Right. And like on an acre, we could grow more food than we could possibly mm -hmm. use. And then it, the conversation changed to, is it really about the acreage? Is it really about this? It's about this journey, yeah. the, the act of growing your own food and taking charge of your own actions. That's really what it's all about. Yep. So that's how we got here. That's where we're at now. I mean, our goal is to just keep going from here mm -hmm. and grow the garden larger and grow more food and just keep on this journey. And if you've made it to this point in the video, it's a pretty long video. Yeah. Kudos. Thank Good you. job. Thank you for coming along and I hope we didn't kind of, you know, weird people out by telling our story, but you know, it this is what is it story. is. Everybody's got their own story. Yep. And we want we've always said from the beginning that we want to be an encouragement to people that you can come from dark places. Yep. You can come from struggling places, you can come from really hard places, and you can make a change. It's never too late to make a change. It's never too late to make a change. And it doesn't have to be a majorly drastic change like you know selling all your belongings and packing into a trailer but it can be a small step at a time and maybe for you right now the smallest step and the most healing step is you put a tomato in a pot and put it on yes. your on your patio as I say pergola that wasn't right if I can come back from where I was and she can come back from where she was yep. and together yep. we can change everything that we don't like about where we're at yep. you guys can too yep so don't give up. Never say never. That's right. That's it for the day. Thank you guys for coming along with us. Thank you to the new people who have been here and now you know way more than you probably. Right. Change. <laughs> intended. Wow. I don't know. Different story. But it is what it is and it's real life and we always want to be real. And we, are, we are real people we with are real, real people. struggles yes. and real problems. So there you go. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.